The muscles of the thigh are arranged into three compartments separated by intermuscular septa. This is the cross section of the thigh. And in this cross section view, this is the interior side and this is the posterior side. And of course, this is the medial side and this is the lateral side. And here you can see that thigh has an interior compartment, a medial compartment and a posterior compartment. And these three compartments are separated by intermuscular septum. Also remember that there is no lateral compartment in the thigh. And the way I remember it is that in the lateral side of the thigh is present the iliotibial tract. We will begin our discussion with the interior compartment. The interior compartment of the thigh contains seven muscles. And out of these seven muscles, five muscles are the true muscles of the thigh interior compartment. These five muscles include sartorius muscle and four large quadriceps femoris muscles. That is rectus femoris muscle, vastus lateralis muscle, vastus medialis muscle, and deep to these is present the vastus intermedius muscle. These four are the large quadriceps femoris muscle. The other two muscles that are included in the interior compartment of the thigh are the sous major muscle and iliacus muscle. These muscles originate from the posterior abdominal wall. And after origination, the terminal end of these muscles enter into the interior compartment of the thigh. That's why these muscles are included in the interior compartment of the thigh muscles. In this video, we will limit our discussion to the sous major muscle. The sous major muscle originate on the posterior abdominal wall. And to be more specific, it originate from the transverse process and bodies of vertebrae from T12 to L5. This is isolated vertebra with the superior view. This is the body of the vertebra and these are the transverse processes of the vertebra. This is the T12 vertebra L1, L2, L3, L4 and L5. And the source major muscle originate from the transverse processes of the vertebrae T12 to L5 and the adjacent bodies of those vertebrae. As you can see, after origination, the muscles descend into the interior compartment of the thigh through the lateral half of the gap between the inguinal ligament and the pelvic bone. This is the inguinal ligament. And this is the gap between the inguinal ligament and the pelvic bone. This is the medial half and this is the lateral half. And this is the source major muscle passing into the interior compartment of the thigh through the lateral half of the gap between the inguinal ligament and the pelvic bone. And insert on a common tendon with the iliacus muscle on the lesser trochanter of the femur bone. This common tendon of the sauce major and iliacus muscle is called iliosauce tendon. This is the lesser trochanter of the femur bone. And this is the point of insertion of the sauce major muscle on the lesser trochanter. The sauce major muscle is innervated by branches from the interior rami of L1, L2 and L3. Next is the action of the sauce major muscle. Both the sauce major muscle and the iliacus muscle passes over the hip joint. So it makes sense that they will act on the hip joint and not on the knee joint. The main action of the sauce major muscle is that it flex the thigh at the hip joint. Since the sauce major muscle passes interior to the hip joint, so contraction of this muscle will pull the femur in this direction. That's all about the sauce major muscle. Next is the iliacus muscle. Thank you.